Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you all doing great. So welcome to another session of uh, E-Days Multi Online Education. So today we are going to discuss real numbers. In the previous classes we discussed about the, all the examples and we just completed about the uh, Irish number, uh, Irish number and also other exercise sums and example sums also. In this session we are going to start fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Before starting our session. Let me introduce myself. I'm Uday Kiran. I'm your Maths Academic Specialist. I'll introduce our features and tools you have. So you have chart option with you. You can interact with me through chart. And there is live webinar classes are there. So you can interact with the uh, expert tutor in there and ask and clarify your doubts in the particular sessions. After the session, you have recorded videos you have and try to see the, all the recorded video for your reference. And you will get the exam preparation material. So that material will help you to achieve uh, success in your main examination. Okay. So so that the, these are the tools. Thanks for being here in my class. Let's get start our session. Okay. Uh, I hope the screen is visible, everyone. Yeah. Uh, in real number, uh, yesterday we dis I mean uh, we discussed about all the topics of uh, Euclid division lemma, right? And also. We completed in Euclid division lemma a is equal to bq plus r. We completed all those things, and we just completed how to apply the Euclid division lemma with HCF. We find by HCF also. HCF is equal. Uh, we can find HCF of two numbers by applying the Euclid division lemma. When we saw already example questions too, and we just completed that exercise one point one. Okay, so we deliver all. Uh, we learned about all the concept of. Uh, uh Euclid division lemma right all right yeah so before starting our next topic that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic i just want to know so please everyone uh, try to read the statement what i'm writing here so here the fundamental theorem of arithmetic so this is our uh, today topic in real number the fundamental theorem of arithmetic okay let's get started here in fundamental theorem of arithmetic so how can we solve that a natural number can be written as if i given you any simple number Okay, uh, one second, guys. Yeah, if I given you any natural number, so you just write it is in the pro uh, form of product of its prime factors. Product of its prime factors. How can you write in the product of prime factors? Before that, you need to know about the what is the prime numbers. What is the prime numbers? What is the prime numbers? Two, three, four. Uh, sorry, two, three, five. 7, 11, all those things are prime numbers. I think everyone knows. 2, 3, uh, 7, 11, 23, all these are prime numbers. If you multiply some of all these numbers with uh, repeated may, many times, so we'll get the large collection of positive integers. We'll get the large collection of positive integers. Uh, let's see how to uh, do this. Let's take an example of, mm, let's take one common number. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, let's take an example of hmm, 64. 64, you just write in terms of prime factors. How can you write in terms of prime factors? So first, you just multiply with 2. We can write 2 into 32. And 2 into 32, 32, we can write 2 times 16. 2 into 2 times 16, we can write it as 2 into 8. And 2 into 2 into 2 into uh, 8, we can write 2 times 4. And... Here, finally, we got 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 4. We can write it 2 into 2 into 2. I hope everyone understood. Yeah, we just write all the steps like this. I put bracket for the each and every step. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 4, we can simplify like this. Finally, how many 2s we get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can group it as 2 square, 2 square, 2 square. Or else you can write like 2 power 6. 2 power 6. Okay, so whatever the given number, uh, given natural number, you can write, observe the statement carefully. Yeah, a natural number from the other direction, we can, where is it? Yeah, so we can repeat the many values. So we can write uh, any natural number, we can rewrite it as in the product of, any natural number, we can write in the product of prime factors. Okay, I hope everyone understood. 
how can we write the fundamental theorem of arithmetic so this statement is important and we solve one with example right uh, now observe that uh, if they given uh, i just taken 64 as the number then we converted them in, in terms of 2 2 here is the prime factor that's why i taken in terms of 2 the base is 2 now if they given the large number like 32760 uh, it is a multi i mean five digit number how can you solve in that particular situation first you can simplify two table so 2 into 1630 if it is not multiply with the two table you just take another table okay two times 1630 and 13 uh, 13816380 you can multiply 2 into 18190 so you can split like this the t diagram it will continue like this 8190 we can write 2 into 4095 but 4095 we can't take i mean it is not divided with 2 that's why you can take another prime number that is 3 we just try with another prime number that is 3 so 3 into 1365 so you'll get the uh, equation like this okay uh, you just uh, take only prime number observe carefully here in this structure 2 2 2 3 3 5 7 so you get only prime numbers like this i hope you uh, uh, identified it right yeah so after getting that you just write like this 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 13 as a product of primes only you can write the prime factors only 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 as a product of primes then group that primes how many twos are there there are three time uh, three uh, three twos you can group it as two cube and how many threes are there so there are three uh, threes so that's why you can group it as three square and 5 into 7 into 13 so you just like uh, write like this i hope everyone understood then you can try with the big big numbers also so if you don't know the factors so you just apply the prime factorization method okay so this method yeah this method i mean uh, we can write in is the product of prime uh, product of uh, primes we call as fundamental theorem of arithmetic so let's understand the uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic here every composite number this statement is important every composite number can be expressed as composite number is nothing but we taken in a previous example 64 and all the numbers as a product of primes and the factorization is unique prime factor composite number is nothing but it is a product of prime factor uh, prime number and also multiply with one also multiply with one we call as composite number so from the order of prime factors occurs like this okay mm. yeah yeah the prime factorization of a natural number is unique unique is nothing but it is a, a it is one and except for the order of its factor okay for any given composite number you can write uh in prime factor like this so here for example 32760 after uh, drawing that tree structure what you did in the previous example so you will get the prime factor product of prime factors like this 2 cube into 3 square into 5 into 7 into 13 okay so now you just uh, write in ascending order the order will be ascending order i mean nothing but 2 after 3 3 after 7 i mean 3 after 5 5 after 7 like this okay you can arrange, arrange in like a fa factorization method okay yeah let's look at uh, uh, look at the example here one example let's take example 5 so we can apply the prime factorization method here so you have learned about already hcf and lcm i hope everyone knows what is hcf and lcm hcf we already uh, take it as highest common factor okay and lcm is nothing but least common multiple we i think already you people already know that how to find hcf and lcm hcf we already did in the previous exercise uh with the examples of euclid division lemma okay you can uh, apply uh, euclidean algorithm also now coming to how to find lcm and hcf of 6 and 20 let's solve this question example example 6 let's try with example 6 why because if you solve example sums also sometimes in exams so they change the number and given the same question type of an examples okay let's solve the example one here we need to find lcm and hcf of 6 and 20 so we need to find two lcm of 6 and 20 and hcf of hcf of 6 comma 20 how can you solve this yeah first without doing any process we just write the prime factors for all this th all this number let's write the prime factors for 6 so 2 times 3 we can't simplify further because we it was stopped here both are prime numbers and for 20 we can write like 2 into 10 2 into 10 we can write as 2 into 
we just stop it here why because we can't split further both are prime uh, all the numbers we got is the prime numbers we just stop it here we can simply write 2 square into 2 square into 5 okay now now our job is to so this is for 6 this is for 20 now you need to find lcm listen carefully guys by taking this simple example you can understand the bigger sums also in exercise there are a lot of sums are there so you can understand easily first uh first uh, observe carefully hcf is the product of smallest power of each common prime factors in number read the statement and understand carefully what is hcf and lcm what is the difference between these two what is the smallest power the product of smallest power and what is the difference between here here it is the greatest power smallest for hcf hcf is the highest common factor the word itself but when it is come to uh, taking into consideration of prime numbers we can take the smallest power smallest power i hope everyone understood uh, what we need to take yeah let's take the 6 comma 20 now now what is the uh, common things from these two observe 2 is the common and 2 is the common let's see 3 is there 3 is there in 20 also no, no 3 3 is not there then you can write then you can write highest hf is equal to hf is equal to 2 only you can take only 2 only okay why because only 2 is the common and smallest number in both uh, both numbers after taking common now it, when it comes to lcm when it comes to lcm you can take the greatest power you can take greatest power okay so what are the greatest power here okay in every term so here 2 square is the greatest one greatest is nothing but whatever the number you have so you can mark this in number 2 the greatest power is 2 so we can take it as 2 square when it comes to 3 3 whether it is there as uh, whether it is there or not i mean two numbers 6 and 20 so you just only observe the greatest power you just write 3 and what is the greatest power of 3 only one and 5 is the other number is there you can take the 5 number 5 into 1 okay now 2 square into 3 into 5 into 1 so 2 square is nothing but 4 3 5 is a 15 15 4 is a you will get 60 now welsim is equal to 60 and hf is equal to 2 okay or else you can leave like that you can leave like that 2 square into 3 into 1 uh, 5 power 1 i hope everyone understood okay i'll explain the process once again we need to find lcm of 6 comma 20 and hcf of 6 comma 20 lcm is nothing but you can take lcm is nothing but you can take only greatest power whether it is the common or not leave it in the two number whether it is uh, common is or not uh, leave it that so first you just find okay i just wrap all those things Mm. Uh, give me a moment or uh, okay do one thing so let's do another example then you can understand better okay yeah you can take for hcm you can take only common number what is the common here 6 is 2 into 3 uh, 20 2 into 2 into 5 what is the common from these two only 2 and 2 only one thing is common that's why you can take only 2 why? because 3 is not there in 20 3 is not there in 20 we can't take that only you can take the smallest power while taking LCM, you can take the highest power. Okay, here when it is come to two, uh, number two, highest power is two. When it is come to three, highest power is one. When it is come to five, highest power is one. Okay, you can uh, think like this. For taking LCM, you can take the greatest power. Let's solve the next example. I hope everyone understood. Yeah, now. Okay, so one important formula is there. So for finding, sometimes the example like this, if they given two numbers, A comma B, A comma B are two integers or two numbers, two integers, let's take two integers number. Okay, we need to find the relation between HCF and LCM. LCM is nothing but, observe carefully, guys, this concept is important. HCF into LCM is equal to product of product of two numbers product of two numbers product of two numbers is nothing but so here hcf into lcm is equal to a into b the two numbers we have taken as a into b that's why hcf into lcm is equal to a into b so in this example observe carefully example 7 let's do the example 7 here 
एग्जाम्पल सेवन लेट्स द एग्जाम्पल सेवन इन द एग्जाम्पल सेवन वाट आर द थिंग्स दिवन फाइन द हेच सी एफ ऑफ नाइंटी सिक्स एंड वन फोर नॉट फोर बाई डूइंग प्राइम फैक्ट्रेशन मेथड एंड फाइंड एल सी एम फर्स्ट यू जस्ट डू वन थिंग नाइंटी सिक्स एंड फोर नॉट फोर आर द टू नंबर दिस थिंग्स इज कन्फर्म ओके लेट्स टेक ए इज इक्वल टू ए इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी सिक्स द टू नंबर बी इज इक्वल टू फोर नॉट फोर ओके नाउ यू नीड टू फाइंड द हेच सी एफ whether we have to find hcf or lcm what is the first step we have to take you just write in the term, uh, you just write in the terms of prime factorization so 90 uh, let's try with the first one 96 96 we can write it as 2 into 2 into 40 once again yeah 48 all right so now 2 into 2 into 48 we can write it as 2 into 24 and uh, okay do one thing let's say as this so we can take the 4 not 4 also we'll just write the 4 not 4 once again uh we'll do the uh, we'll do uh, one thing so 2 into the same process what i'm saying the, the same process 48 so we just write 2 into 2 into 24 now 2 into 2 into 24 we can write 2 2 times 12 Now two into two into two into two times six. So you can write till uh, you'll get the all are prime numbers two into three. Now observe carefully all are two and three. So all are prime numbers. So you just stop it here. So now you can confirm this. How many two are there? One, two, three, four, five. Two power five into three power one. If nothing else, you can take one. Now, now you can write the uh, factors for four not four. Four not four. Prime factors for four not four. Four not four. You can write two into two not two. All right. Yeah, two into two not two. And two not two. You can write this two into one not one. We just stop here. Why? Because one not one is also a prime number. We just stop here. So two square into one not one. Two square into one not one. Okay. So they got all the same thing. Now we need to find. Yeah, let's find HCF and LCM. First, we need to find HCF. Then we'll look in uh, look onto the LCM. Okay, HCF is nothing but what we learned about HCF. So we can take we can take smallest power. Observe or a smallest power and what are the common from both two? Observe carefully. Mm, two square, two square is there and two square the two numbers. Okay, that's why you can take two square as the common and. Here three is there. Here three is not there. Here one not one is there, but here is one not one is not there. That's why we can't take common. Only thing is that you can take common only. Uh, only you can take common. Now we got HCF is four. Two square is nothing but four. Okay. After getting the HCF, what is the sum? What we need to find in the example seven. You need to find LCM. How to find LCM? Uh, the formula is nothing but what is the formula? This is the formula. Just now learned about the. Formula HCF is equal to you just mark anywhere HCF into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. Product of two numbers. Okay, so just now we got in the uh, next question HCF already we got four and two numbers also we know that two numbers also we know that do one thing do one thing the okay uh, we'll do it here yeah this is step one we'll write it step uh, step by step so this is the step one. Finding ninety six and four not four prime factors. Step two, step two. This is step two. Finding HCF. After getting the HCF, do one thing. So you just find. You just write the step three. What is step three? Let's erase this. Yeah, let's do it from here. Step three. Yeah, step three is nothing but. Here you can take already <clears throat> HCF. We got four, so now HCF into LCM. H into L is equal to A into B. I just write it in shortcut. HCF into LCM. Uh, HCF already we got four. Four into LCM. We need to find A into B. That is ninety six into four not four. Ninety six into four not four. Now LCM is equal to ninety six into four not four. 
we need only lcm that's why you just transfer four to other side it become division it become division like this okay now if you cancel if you want to cancel further so 404 uh, 4 by 404 you'll get 101 101 now lcm is equal to 96 into 1 uh, 101 96 into 101 Okay, I don't have space here. I just write it here. Yeah, 96 into 101. You will get the LCM would be 9696. What is the LCM? 9696. Okay. Yeah, I hope everyone understood how to solve the LCM. So before uh, giving that, do one thing. So after giving the sum, observe the question carefully what we need to find what are the data they given here 96 and 404 are two numbers in the formula hf into lcm is equal to product of two numbers so 96 and 404 are two numbers so you can take that find the hcf first how to find the hcf the step one is you just uh, find the prime factors for that two numbers i just write the prime factors i'll get 2 power 5 into 3 power 1 and 2 square into 101 okay yeah after that after that, step two is nothing but we just find the HCF of the two number. HCF is nothing but you can take the common numbers. You can take the common numbers. Two square is the common from both of uh, both of the sums. That's why four is the HCF. And I think you know the formula of HCF into LCM is equal to A into B. A into B. That's why HCF already we found four. And LCM, we don't know. That's why it keeps same. And after transferring four to the side, you get LCM value. Hope everyone understood. We have a lot of sums are there in example sums. I mean, exercise sums. We'll do it later if you still have a doubt. Okay. But some basic knowledge is important while solving the questions. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the next example. Yeah, the same example. Just now I told about that. So find HCF and LCM. Uh, now we need to find both, uh, both, uh, both examples. I mean, HCF and LCM. Let's write example eight here. Example eight. Okay. Now observe carefully what is the question they given? HCM and LCM of 670 to 120. We need to find HCF, LCM of the number 6. What are the numbers? 70 to 120. 70 to 120. Whether what are the numbers they given? What is the first step? First step would be step 1. So we just write all the prime factors for all the numbers. For 6, we just write the prime numbers. And 72 also, 72 also, you just write the prime numbers. Uh, let's write it for 120, 120 also. Okay, let's do it here. Okay, 6, only 2 into 3. 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. We just drop it here. Why? Because we can't switch further. 72, you can write it as 2 into 36. 36, we can split it as 2 into 18. 2 into 2 into 2 into 9 and 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 we can write it as 3 into 3 so we just stop it here how many twos are there 2 cube and 3 square when it is comes to when it comes to 120 yeah we'll do the 120 here we'll do it for 120 here for 120 first first thing is 2 into 60 2 into 2 into 60 we can write 30 now 2 into 2 into 30, we can write it as 2 into 15. Now 2 into 2 into 2 into 15, we can write it as 3 Pfizer. We can stop it here. Why? Because we can't fit further. Now 2 cube into 3 power 1. If nothing is there, you can take power 1. I hope everyone understood. Power 1. Okay. Now our job is to step 2. Step 2. Step two, find HCF. Let's find HCF here. HCF is nothing but you can take the common factor. So here, uh, what are the common things are there? Okay, let's mark one, two is there. One, two is there. We'll write one, two. And another two, another two. We'll write another two. One more two, one more two. What about the common? You just write blindly. That's it. And one more three is there. One more three. I just write it here. Here 3 is there, but there is no 3 is there. Here 5 is there. There is no 5 here is there. There is no common. So we just stop it here. And HF is nothing but 2 to, two to the 4, 4 to the right, 8 3 is 24. I hope everyone understood how to find HCF. 
mark the circles what are the commas in there what are the commas in there if nothing is common you just leave it you just write the remaining things that's it now now step 3 is finding hcf sorry lcm finding lcm lcm is nothing but we can take greatest power here greatest power when it's come to 2 the number 2 2 has greatest power is 3 in the both numbers greatest power is 3 okay we'll come to 3 the number 3 here 3 square is there here 3 power 1 is there which is greater 3 square that's why you can take only greater number uh here 5 power 1 is there here nothing is there if nothing is there still we have to take that still we have to take that 5 power 1 in lcm we are not considering any common terms we are only taking the highest factor highest uh, greatest power i hope everyone get some idea don't observe don't observe common factor for lcm you just blindly write the greatest powers sir here 5 is there here is not there why can't we write you just write it there why because we have to write the only greatest power when it, when it comes to hcf you don't write like why because here 5 is there here is not there you don't write like that okay now yeah let's simplify further Mm. Yeah, two cube is nothing but eight. Three square is nothing but nine. Okay, nine. Ah, uh, nine five eight into forty five. Forty five into eight. So we'll get the LCM here is what is the LCM? Three six zero. Two cube here also they got the same answer. Two cube three square five power one. Two cube three square five power one. So that's why we'll got the answer two. Sorry, three sixty. So after multiplying, we'll get three sixty. That is the LCM. Here, uh, HCF is HCF is twenty four and LCM is three sixty. At least you people got some idea how to solve HCF and LCM. If you are master in it, I'll give you uh, hard questions. Other also there in access part. In that particular time, you can solve your own. Okay. If you are learning stage, if you are in learn uh, learning stage, so try to uh, mark like this. Try to. Uh, circle the what are the common things all those thing then you can understand the concept in better way okay okay yeah let's move on yeah lcm here is 360 and hcf here is 6 the same uh, we got the same thing one second guys oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry here what happened we couldn't consider 6 here i mean we didn't mark 6 here so that's a mistake one second uh that's why we got hcf is wrong okay i didn't see that hcf is at top i mean 6 is the number i didn't consider one second now everything got changed not everything only hcf got changed yeah that's the mistake uh, what i did so here uh, i didn't consider 6 is the number is there Six. I didn't observe that number. Okay. Uh, nothing worry. So uh, it's a small step. Okay. So here now take the common. So here the three number six seventy two one twenty. I missed the six number. Okay. Yeah. Now take the common. Two is the common from both three. One two three. Six seventy two one twenty. There are three numbers. Two is the common. Okay. Let's write two here. We just erase all those things. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't see the six number is there. Why? Because he it has only two factors are there. That's why uh, I blindly I missed that. Now observe carefully. What are the other numbers is common? Okay, let's mark that three here, and here also three is there, and here also three is there. Let's take three also. Now two three is a six, so six is the HCF. Why? Because in six there is no other number we have to take common. Only one is the number we have to take common. If you multiply six into one, we'll get the six same. Same answer, okay? Yeah, sir. Here, uh, uh, seventy-two, one twenty-two, and two is common, and uh, another two into two. Why can't we take that? So for HCF, you can consider the three numbers, seventy-two and one twenty also. For six, only two factors are there. You can take that two factors, and the two factors also common for other numbers also. Okay? Yeah. I hope everyone understood. Yeah. Now exercise part, exercise one point two. Okay. Yeah, how to solve this? Yeah, now first question is exercise one point two. Let's start exercise one point two.
exercise 1.2 all right okay now first question first question first one how to solve that uh, what is the question express each number as the product of prime factors is it difficult we you just write in the form of prime factor we are not we are not able to find hcf and all the things we just write in the prime factors 140 140 is the number so we just write we do one thing 140 here is the number you just write you just write in the terms of prime factors one second guys the pen is not working yeah now it's working 2 into 70 all right now 2 into 70 we can raise 2 into 35 35 we can write it as 2 into 5 7 sir can we split further can we split further so we just stopped here why because 2 2 also prime number and 5 also prime numbers and 7 also prime numbers so we just stop it here and so that is the first question right yeah so we just write we just write 2 square into what we get we they asked only for finding prime numbers in the form of prime factors nothing else you can take 1 7 power 1 i hope everyone understood how to solve this let's move on to the next question yeah now 156 you can do the same process guys you can do the same process here 156 so we can write 2 into mm, 7 is 14 and 8, 78. Now 2 into 2 into 3, 6. Okay, 3, 6. Am I doing correct or not? 3, 9, I think. Yeah, 3, 9. Yeah, 2 into 2 into 39. We can take it as 3 into 13. Okay, so we just stopped here. Why? Because 13 also prime number. We can't split further. We just stopped here. Now what we get? 2 square into 3 power 1 into 13 power 1. 13 power 1. Simple, right? If you solve more question, if you solve more question, you'll get a better understanding about the concept. Okay. If they given also big number, you are uh, now you are able to solve. Uh, yeah, now, now it comes to the big number 3825. Now your job is to find the big numbers 38285. 3825. 3825. Okay, let's start with the two, uh, two table. Uh, here the end, end digit would be 5. Yeah, unit digit would be 5. So it is not divided with the two number. Let's try with the three uh, three table three times. 1, 2. So we will get um, 3825, right? 3825 divided by 3. So you'll get 1275. 1275 and 1275 is there in three table we can write 1275 after getting 1275 you just divide it with the 3 now 3 into uh, 4 to 5 4 to 5 now 3 into 3 into 4 to 5 it is divided with 3 i think i don't think it is divided with 3 so let's try with 5 table so divided 5 you will get 85 now 3 into 3 into 5 into 85 85 if you divide it 5 so you'll get 17 5 into 17 17 is a prime number 17 is a prime number we just stop it here and write all the things yeah what are the things we got let's change the color 3 square into 5 square into 17 power 1 okay 17 power 1 we just stopped here why because 17 is a prime number yeah you can do any number like this okay i'll solve uh, one more number and i'll give you another another number as a homework part so try to do on your own yeah let's try with 5005 the next one both one both one okay 5005 5005 yeah exactly now 5005 so we can uh, it is multiple of 5 if you observe carefully, now you'll get 1001. 1001. Mm, so if you multiply with 5, 5 it is not possible. So that's why 1001. Now if you take another uh, another prime number, uh, 5 after 7 is the other prime number. So if you divide it with 7, so you will get 7, 1, 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 143. 
Now, 143, how can you split? 5 into 7 into 143. Uh, can we write uh, with the 11 table? 11 table, it is 13. Okay. Now, it is comes to 5 into 7 into 11 into 15. All are prime numbers. All are prime numbers. We just stop it here. So, you just write 5 power 1, 7 power 1, 11 power 1, 13 power 1. This is quite interesting, right? So nothing swears are there. What we compared with the previous questions. I hope everyone understood. Yeah, you can uh, solve the next question 7429 like the same process. You can try with the two table. If it is not applied to the two table, you just try with the other, other prime number that is three. If it is not with the three table, you just uh, find the other prime number that is five, fifth, uh, five table. Okay, it's up to you. Yeah, uh, let's start with the second uh, second model. Uh, find the LCM and HCF of the pairs and verify. Okay, this is the third. Uh, yeah, let's verify LCM and HCF is equal to product of two numbers. Okay, so it's not a uh, big task. Let's do it here. Which model? Second one. Second Roman, first one. Second Roman, first one. What are the question they given? 26 and 91. What is this 26 and 91? Can you anyone please confirm me? What is this 26 and 91? They given two numbers, guys. Okay, let's change the color. Okay, so they given two numbers. A is equal to 26. The example sum we already did. Uh, what is the formula for if they given two numbers? HF into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. This is what we learned. All right. So first, 26 into B here, they given 91. B here, they given 91. So do one thing. So you just find the uh, 26. You just write the prime factors. How to write the prime factors for 26? Let's write the, once again. Yeah, let's write the prime factors for 26. 26, we can take it as 2 into um, 13. 13 also prime number, we just stop it here. And uh, and for 91, 91, so 91, uh, it is not divided with 3 and 2, 5, 7 into 13, 7 into 13, all right, 7 into 13. Now observe carefully what is the common for both two, 13 is the only common, finding HCF, finding HCF, you will get 13, you will get 13, okay, now LCM would be, LCM is, 13 is the common one. That's why I'm writing 13. Now, else would be you just write all the numbers. For 2, 2 is the number. There is no other number. 2 power 1 is the highest one. That's why we just take 2 power 1 and 7 power 1 only. 13 power 1. Okay. After multiplying that, 2 7 the 14, 14, 13 are you'll get 182. 182. Okay. Yeah. So, HCF of these two numbers, you'll get 13. And HCF, uh, LCM would be 182. We need to verify whether it is correct or not. How to verify the, uh, let's do the verification part. Why? Because in the question, in the question they given, verify the LCM into HCF, LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers or not. So let's verify here. Let's write verify. Verifying. How to verify? What is the hint they given? LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers. I think everyone knows it, right? So the product of two numbers, A into B, LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers. Product of A into B. Okay. So LCM into HCF. Here LCM we got 182. Let's change the color. Here LCM we got 182 and HCF 13 and two numbers they given 26 and 91. We are doing a verification process guys, whether LHS is equal to RHS we are getting or not. Okay. Uh, 182 into 13, 2, 3 is 6 and 6, 6, 13. I mean 182, 0, 1820 uh, plus uh, all those things. So you'll get 2366. 2366. Here also 6 on the 6 and 2, 2, 1, 9 and uh, again 6 you'll get and 3, 2, 
okay now lhs is equal to rhs okay lhs is equal to rhs that's why the verification the whatever the given numbers are correct okay so you just verify that lsm of uh, uh, lsm into hf is equal to product of two numbers that is 26 into 91 i hope everyone understood how to verify the numbers first after giving the numbers 26 into 91 do one thing you just write the prime factors that is the whole first step we know i think everyone knows it and uh, verifying that uh, for verifying they already given the hint in the question observe carefully in the question they already given the hint we just take this formula lsm into hf is equal to product of two numbers they already given the hint why uh, why can't we write other things so that's why i'm writing lcf into hf is equal to product of two numbers that is a into b so i'll get LC lhs is equal to rhs okay let's move on and the same process we can apply the next sum so in finite to 192 so which sum we have to solve which one easy or which one difficult okay let's solve with the second one why because finite to is a bigger number let's solve with the next question which one okay second question second roman second question can roman the question 5 10 9 92 what is this two numbers they given two numbers so that is that is a is equal to 5 10 and b is equal to 92 right 92 yeah 92 now our job is to find prime factors our job is to find prime factors so let's write the prime factors for 5 10 5 10 and 92 let's write it here for 5 10 uh, it is a big number so 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 2 into 5 into 5 into 5 whether it is correct or not 5 10 divided by 2 255 255 it look like a multiple of 5 so multiple of 5 if you divide it 5 so you'll get 51 you'll get 51 now 51 if you divide it with 7 what we have to write for 51 mm, 7 table is there or 3 table yeah uh, let's take 3 table am i doing correct or not 2 into 5 into yeah so 2 into 5 into let's take with the 3 table so 3 into 1 7 all right so all our prime numbers we just stop it here we just stop it here and write that 2 power 1 into 5 power 1 into 3 power 1 into 17 power 1 now do the 92 similar way uh, do the 92 92 we can write in the form of 2 into 2 4 are 8 and 6 are 12 so now 2 into 2 into 23 23 is a prime number right so that's why we just uh, keep it here now 2 power 2 uh, 1 into 2 power 1 uh, 2 23 power 1 okay now our job is to find hcf hcf is nothing but you can take the common numbers the smallest power here 2 is there here also 2 is there so we can take 1 2 as common mm, any other thing here 5 is there here 5 is not there here 3 is there here 3 is not there 17 17 not there 23 20 is not there so that's why we can mark it as hcf is equal to 2 hcf of hcf is equal to 2 now lcm yeah let's do find lcm yeah let's find lcm lcm is nothing but you can take all the number the highest power of 2 is nothing but the highest power of 2 it is 2 power 1 and highest power of, of 2 here 2 square right yeah lcm you can take here 2 square 23 is there that's why you can take 2 square you can take highest power and 3 1 3 is there 3 power 1 and 5 power 1 is there 17 into 23 okay so might be we are getting lcm is the bigger one 2 square into 3 into 5 into 17 into 23 so you'll get after multiplication so i just write the answer here 2 3 4 2 3 4 6 0 2 3 4 6 0 okay now our job is to verify whether it is correct or not whether they are correct or not so how to verify okay so this is step one let's write each and every step so this is step one this is step two 
finding HCF and LCM and verify part. We just do verify part like this. Let's and uh, let's write the verify. Verify part is our step three. Okay. Yeah. Let's write the formula. What is the formula? HCF into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. Product of A into B or A comma B, whatever. Okay. Uh, let's write it here. HCF just now we got two into two three four six zero. Okay. Product of uh, five ten into nine ninety two. You can do on your own. Two into two three four zero. So we will get uh, zero twelve and nine uh, six four four six nine two zero four six nine two zero. Okay. And here also five ten into ninety two. Five ten into nine is nothing but uh, yeah zero two again. Let's do it here two ten. Okay, nine two zero nine forty five zero two nine six six four. Okay, four six nine two zero four six nine two zero. We got the same answer. Okay. Yeah, you can do uh, on these things on your rough notes part on your rough work. Okay, do one thing, do like this. So, yeah, and the next question, the same process. So I just give the hint for 336 and 54. If you couldn't get the answer, I will solve it later. Okay. 336 and 54. Okay. Where we started here. So in this session, we started uh, fundamental of arithmetic. Okay. So we just start from fundamental of arithmetic. Arithmetic is nothing but, I mean, fundamental of arithmetic, we just write the whatever the natural number, it is in the form of product of all prime numbers. Product of all prime numbers is nothing but 2 and 2 into T. So we just write convert like this. Okay, and the next thing, and finding LCM and HCF. Finding LCM and HCF, uh, HCF, you just take the for LCM for HCF, you can take, yeah, you can take smallest power, smallest power for LCM, you can take greatest power, greater power or greatest power, whatever. Okay, here in this uh, two questions, the two is the only uh, number is there. That's why we can take two as, two as common. And here greatest power for two, it is two square. Here two power one into three power one. But two power one and two power two, what is the bigger one? Two square, right? That's why I taken two square is common. Why? Because LCM, we can take greatest power. And you can write all this thing, you multiply, you'll get 60 as the LCM. Okay. Now coming to the new concept. So whether they given two numbers, two integers, and HCF, uh, the relation between HCF and LCM between the two numbers is HCF into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. And we solved all the example parts in the next uh, next slides. Yeah, here example one. First thing is you just write after giving the numbers, you can take A into B, A or B. And you just write the product, uh, product of prime factors, product of the prime factors, and substitute the all those things like this. Okay, and some questions are they given like verification. Some question they given like verification. You can do the verification like this. Let's see what are the question they given verification. Okay, after getting the HCF and LCM, we, you are no, no, no need to stop it here. You just verify whether it is correct or not. How can you verify? We just write the formula LCM into HCF is equal to product of A into B. Product of A into B. Substitute all this thing. LCM already you got 182, and HCF also you got 18, the, sorry, 13. So substitute over there and the two numbers they given in the question 26 and 91. So you just substitute over there. You'll get 2366, 2366 is the LCM and HCF. You'll got the same answer. Okay. I hope everyone got the uh, answer and I uh, hope you understand. Let's solve the excess 1.2 other questions in the next session. Okay. So I just end up here, guys. Thanks for being here in my class and listening carefully and writing all the notes. So let's meet on the next session with a new concept and keep learning, keep safe, uh, stay at home, uh, at your home. Yeah, let's uh, make a goodbye and have a good day. Okay, bye-bye everyone.